Well, the Supreme Court blocked the Trump administration from putting a citizenship question on the census to identify undocumented immigrants. And this week, the White House sought out another way to change how the census is done. Our D.C. correspondent, Joe Cleal, reports this afternoon from the nation's capital. President Trump signed an executive order changing the way the U.S. Census counts undocumented people. He wants to make sure that American citizens uh, have all of the uh, political influence and representation that they were afforded by the Constitution. White House spokesman John Horseman says the executive order would ignore undocumented populations when deciding how many representatives each state gets in Congress. Horseman says immigration agencies will share people's personal data with the Census Bureau. That information has been collected since 2019 and will be uh, used to inform any future decisions. But the Census Bureau itself and House Democrats say that's illegal. He knows this is wrong. He knows it's against the law not to count every individual in America. Congressman Lou Correa says he thinks the order is an election year political move. This is the way he wants to treat the folks that grow our food and feed us. It just doesn't make sense. I'd say, Mr. President, come on. And there are questions about whether or not the executive order is even enforceable. The administration already tried to put a citizenship question on the census, and the Supreme Court ruled against them. This is another attempt by the president to cheat the census. After the order was issued, Democrat Nanette Barragan put out a public message in Spanish, urging undocumented Americans to continue filling out the census. The motivation of the president is to try to instill fear in people and to discourage them from filling out the census. Barragan expects the administration's order will get a legal challenge. In Washington, I'm Joe